Hey, hello everybody, Jason Grandin with the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team. We are two weeks out from Thanksgiving, so what a better podcast than to uh, talk about kind of like a little home for the holidays type deal, I guess. Um, we can I actually will title this one House Gratitude, how about that? Real estate stories to be thankful for. So as we get closer to uh, Thanksgiving... Uh, the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team, powered by my home group and now Fathom Realty, which makes us one of the largest brokerages in Arizona, nationwide with a huge international and nationwide reach, is one of the reasons why if you're considering buying or selling real estate, using groups that are tied in like this is the best way to go. So um, if you're selling your house, we've got some great reach to people that aren't here on the state. And as you know, Arizona, specifically Scottsdale, Phoenix, Paradise Valley, we got a lot of people coming in from out of town for the winter because like today, we're celebrating 72 degrees outside. It's just absolutely perfect weather. In fact, it's so perfect. Yesterday was Veterans Day, so happy um, uh, Veterans Day to everybody. And, um, you know, the reason we're free is because of those that serve. Uh, We took a walk yesterday with our uh, eight-year-old. And it was just absolutely perfect. It was like two and a half hours. And pretty soon we're like, wow, we went like seven miles here. And uh, it was just perfect. You didn't break really break a sweat. Got a nice little suntan. Yet 72 degrees. Arizona is the perfect place to be. Now, driving around, you would think everybody's here. Because the traffic is tremendous. Now, even if you get up into our other parts of the country, like uh, Prescott, Chino, Flagstaff, it's still beautiful up there. Snow's starting to come down a little bit. It's cooler than down here, but it's just absolutely perfect. And Prescott is preparing for um, Christmas, so it is great. But we are moving into Thanksgiving right now, and I wanted just to get the next three podcasts are going to be uh, Thanksgiving-related, just kind of thankful stuff. Uh, but this house gratitude is, uh, you know... I wanted to kind of give you a, a Thanksgiving themed stories about different things that happen while we're in real estate. So um, I'm going to give you two stories here that have actually happened over our course of our 20 years. One of them is kind of heartwarming and one's kind of funny. But, um, you know, Thanksgiving's a time to sit here and rethink, think about things that have gone in the past. We're a huge family, so, you know, family is definitely most important. We put, you know, God, family, uh, kind of in order like that. And Thanksgiving's a time to start thinking about being grateful. I mean, there are so many things we complain about on a daily basis. When it comes down to Thanksgiving, you start looking at it, and you're like, why am I complaining about this? Because it's ridiculous. So us at the Grandin Group, we are very, 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 very very grateful that um, you— our listeners, one, have made us the number one Arizona lifestyle and real estate podcast. Number two, we're grateful that you trust us to handle your real estate needs, whether big or small. Um, some people come to us and like, it's not a very big deal, but can you do it? And it doesn't matter if it's a $40,000 deal or a $10 million deal. We are equipped to do it. And now with our new partners at Fathom Realty, whew, watch out. It is going to be a crazy 2025. In addition, we are done with elections, the weather's changed, we are moving forward, it is going to be a great real estate year. In fact, predictions, regardless of what you hear on the news and stuff, real estate is about to get pretty wild. So, for those of you thinking about buying that have been sitting on the fence, you better jump in because that $400,000 house you were looking at today, in six months, is going to be a little bit more and it's going to push a lot of people out of their price range. So anyways... Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I do hope everybody gets a chance to spend time with family, rekindle some old flames, and just talk about things that really make a difference. Oh, and of course, need good turkey, right? So listen, let's get on to the uh, Thanksgiving theme story. So over the course of 20 years, we've come across a lot, a lot of people. And if you listen to the past podcasts, which a lot of you have, then you know what we're talking about with the stories. Last month we talked about the haunted houses that were true, that actually happened. So I want to kind of give you, this is kind of a little humorous story. And so I've, I've entitled it the Turkey Countdown Home. So um, this happened, I don't know, this has got to be pushing eight, nine years ago. So we had this young couple that just moved here 
uh, from a colder state. Arizona. They, I think they were coming from Kansas. I, I don't exactly remember, but I do know that when they got here, they were just like, "Oh my God, this is this is fantastic." And the, I do remember this too: the uh, husband and the wife were arguing about just different things that were ridiculous, it, and just kind of bickering with each other, not full on arguments. But I know that they were excited to host their first Thanksgiving home. So they came here probably I don't know. It was probably mid October, so they were kind of under a time crunch, and she put the pressure on. Because she's like, I want to have Thanksgiving in our house. I'm having people over. This is where we want to do it. We want to do it in our new house. So, anyways, showed them several different homes. Uh, they ended up in uh, Chandler, I believe. Chandler or Gilbert. But anyway, so we started up here, up, up in the North Valley. Ultimately, they loved Gilbert and Chandler. So, anyways, they were drawn to this house with a, a spacious, open kitchen. Perfect for their big family. But, there was a catch. Their closing date was set days before Thanksgiving. So, you know how much preparation goes in when you have a large family and you're going to host Thanksgiving. Determined to make it work, they spent Thanksgiving week in a whirlwind, packing, moving, setting up their new home. All while trying to prep for this big dinner. Um, so, they got into the house. In fact, okay, so this particular house, we actually had to do a post or a pre-possession. So, they were supposed to close... Somewhere around the second week of um, November, and this brought us up because Thanksgiving was early this time, so it brought us up a couple of days beforehand. So we got uh, permission to access the home before close. All the documents were signed. We made sure everything was in order. So she's uh, prepping the house for this big dinner she's having. So as the turkey was cooking, they realized they hadn't unpacked their silverware, <laughs> and you know how that goes. You don't unpack the plates, the silverware, and everything else. So they end up serving Thanksgiving dinner with plastic forks, paper plates, all surrounded by moving boxes, labeled kitchen essentials. All right? So that, you know, you, you try to make everything perfect, but these are the kind of memories we talk about. So they're all sitting there having this big dinner and stuff, and um, even the kids were sitting on the box that were labeled kitchen utensils, and for the life of them, with all the panic and all the hustle and bustle going around, she could not find the silverware, the plates, anything. So anyway, so Thanksgiving was served. And uh, it was just served with uh, plastic forks, paper plates. But it was surrounded by family, which makes it great. So till this day, and the reason I bring this up because I talked to them a couple weeks ago. Uh, their family still laughs about that Thanksgiving as one of the most memorable ever. Complete with takeout sides, mismatched mismatch chairs, Cozy dinner in the living room floor, on the boxes, all around the house. And now every Thanksgiving, they reminisce about the turkey countdown home. And they keep a couple plastic forks on hand as a reminder of their adventurous first holiday. Congratulations, you guys are great. They're still living in the house. Um, Gilbert and Chandler are fantastic. The kids are older now, so... You know, we'll see how their Thanksgiving goes this year. And one of the things we do is, and they will be getting one. So if you're listening, you'll be getting a pie. We do a pie giveaway every year. So um, if you'd like to be on that list and you're local, I mean, if you're out of state, I'll send you one if you want one. But if you're local, shoot me over an email with your address. And right before Thanksgiving, we'll drop off a pie. So that is our funny story, <clears throat> the uh, Turkey Countdown Home that happened, you know, several years ago and stuff, but nothing ever comes out perfect. And during, you know, when you're running around and stuff, you're like, oh my God, this is going to be horrible, blah, 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 blah. And it ends up being one of the best Thanksgivings ever. So congratulations on it. So next, the Grand and Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team. We have an unexpected story. And I'm going to call this one Home for the Holidays. This is probably, this one happened about five, four or five years ago. And, um, you know, one of the, one of the great things, it's, it's kind of a double edged sword. One of the great things about selling real estate is you get these single parents that come and they're searching for houses and stuff like that. So being a single parent, and I don't know about this cause you know, we're together 20 years now, but we, we do get the moms and the dads that are single parents for whatever reason. And <clears throat> it just seems that when, um, they're trying to get everything in order, things just, it just seems like they run out of luck. So this was a few years back, like I said, a single mom and her two young kids. So they're actually not that young anymore. They were searching for a home uh, for months. 
without luck. I mean, and we looked and looked and looked. So, and you know, they needed the good schools. They needed to make sure the churches were good. They needed to make sure they were close to family, but not too close. You know, the whole nine yards. They needed this, but not that, and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, we finally found them a house. So as Thanksgiving approached, she was about to put her search on hold. She was feeling uh, disheartened, like many people get when you're looking for something and you just can't find the perfect home. And listen, this wasn't about finding the perfect home paint color because we can change that. She just had to have, um, she knew what she wanted. And, and I do agree with this. She, you feel the home when you walk into it. When you walk into a home, if you're buying and you walk into a home, you will feel it. So keep sending her lists of homes. So on a whim, I knew she was get, really getting irritated and she just wanted to take a break to get through the holidays. But listen, on a whim, I sent her over this home and it was uh, new in Mesa. It just hit the market. I'm like, listen, you've got to come check this house out. I know you're irritated. It was right before Thanksgiving. Uh, let's get this checked out. And, and when I say right before, it was the beginning of uh, November. So anyways, we get over to the house. The house was cozy, warm, filled with little details that uh, felt like it was just waiting for her. And so this is what I'm talking about when you're talking when you walk into a house. There's just things that click that you're like, oh wow, this is my house. The backyard even had a pecan tree, which reminded her of Thanksgiving growing up. So, by some miracle, we we have two and a half weeks to closing. Um, I'll give a shout out. I, I don't want to give the people's name on this, but I will give a shout out to the lender who did this loan. It was uh, Court Crowfoot. He was um, with Cro Cross Country Mortgage. He finished his loan up. He got it done in like 14 days. So some miracle happened. She was able to get a quick closing. And the realtor and the seller worked with her to ensure she could move in right before Thanksgiving. So we got the other people out. Got the loan closed. Thank you, Court Crowfoot with Cross Country Mortgage. She closed 48 hours before Thanksgiving. And guess what? Her first Thanksgiving in home turned into a Friendsgiving with friends and neighbors she hadn't even met. They were bringing over food, bringing over decorations, and it became a magical experience for the community. And New Beginnings, as she always remembers at, as uh, Thanksgiving, truly brought her, quote-unquote, home for the holidays. These are the kind of special stories that we absolutely love. The fact that the neighbors see her rushing around with the kids, single mom, not being able to prep dinner, the entire neighborhood just brought stuff over. It was, I think most of them actually end up eating in the front lawn and stuff like that. They just had a blast. And she, until this day, I know she's still friends with all of them. She's still in that house in Mesa. And um, she'll be getting a pie, too. We'll be dropping off some stuff to her next week. Anyways, so those are a couple great stories, or at least I think they're great. The kind of things that we get to see as realtors. I don't want to get on this mic and talk to you about, oh, hey, guys, the rate is great. You should do this or the housing market. You know what? The housing market is what it is. And if you're in the market to buy, we're going to get you taken care of. If you're in the market to sell, you are going to get the best marketing program and the highest price for your house because that's what we do. So Thanksgiving time is the time to be thankful. Check. I hope you enjoy these stories, the funny story and the unexpected story. And these are just a couple things that we just come across as realtors that, you know, people don't really talk about it in the world. And these are the things that we need to know about. So um, no matter what, Thanksgiving is a time to be grateful. I know these two parties are grateful. I know many of you are. And if there is something bugging you, figure out what it is, talk to the person, or just get it off your back and move on because there are so many other things to be thankful for. And again, we are thankful for you. And I'm also thankful that I was born in Arizona and I get to sell real estate in this incredible state. I'm also thankful for the fact that we get to introduce new people to the incredible lifestyle that is Arizona. All right, everybody, you guys have a great Thanksgiving. We have a couple more podcasts coming up before Thanksgiving, but uh, we wanted to start it off with this and then we get into the holiday ones, which are going to be a blast. Plus, we're going to have our live um, lockbox show. So it'll kind of be the podcast like this, but it'll be videotaped, and um, you'll be able to watch it if you don't want to listen. You guys have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great week. Make sure you get to the stores early. They're starting to get packed. 
I'm Jason Grandin with the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team, powered by my home group and Fathom Realty. Reach out to us. Information's below. Take care.